when thou wentest forth before thy people, when thou didst march through the wilderness, Sira. Yes. Send a plentiful rain, whereby thou dost confirm thy inheritance when it was weary. Thy congregation has no weary, no God has prepared for thy goodness of the Lord. The Lord gave his word, great was the company of those that publish it. Kings are honored. Yet shall he be as the wings of the dove covered with silver, and as feathers with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was white as snow in summer. The hills of God is as the hill of Bashan, a high hill as the hill of Bashan. Why will you be high? This is the hill which God has chariots of God and our 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. The Lord has ascended on high. The Lord has led captivity captive. The Lord has received gifts for men. Yea, for the rebellious also that the Lord has meant to tell them. Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation, Selah. He that is our God is the God of salvation, and unto God the Lord to the Lord from here. But God shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such a one as goeth on still is trespass. The Lord said, I will bring again from Israel. I will bring my people again from the sea. That thy feet, that thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thine enemy, and the tongue of thy dogs in the same. The singers went before, the players and instruments followed after. Among them were the damsels playing with tambourines. Bless ye God, our congregation, even the Lord from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin with their ruler, the princes of Judah and their council, the princes of Zebulun and the princes of Nathaniel. Thy God hath commanded thy strength. Strengthen, O God, that which thou hast brought first. The cause of thy temple at Jerusalem Shall kings bring presents unto thee? Redeem the company of spare men, the multitude of the whole, with the cows of the people, till every prince of Israel has a piece of silver. Scatter down the people that delight in war. Princes shall come out of Egypt, Ethiopia shall soon stretch out her hands unto God. Sing unto God, kings among the earth, oh, O sing praise unto the Lord. 33 to 35 together. Amen. Which, Which were of old, lo, he does, he does send, send out, out his voice, and that a mighty voice, ascribe his strength, strength unto God, his excellency over Israel, and his strength is in the cloud. O God, thou art terrible out of thy holy place. The God of Israel is he that is in his strength, and power of his people. Verse 25, it said, The singers went before the players on instruments, follow after. And among them were the damsels playing with tambourine. So the singers went forth. So yeah. singing is a very important thing in the worship of God. Amen? Amen. You just don't come to sing to look pretty or to sing to sing safe. When you go forth, then person follow behind. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise God. As we give honor to the work 
Because it's already blessed, and we honor it by saying, Glory, Glory be to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be. Glory be to the Father, Amen. Amen. And I'm now turning back over to our moderator. Thank God for the word today. Praise the name of the Lord. I am going to decrease and some of the members are going to increase and um, there's something for everyone here today. Amen? Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm going to take up my books and my Bible and I'm going to sit for a minute. But we come in this order. We have a number of exhortations and songs and people and our brethren, they are going to be a blessing to you. Amen? Amen? If it is yours, bless the Lord. Amen. If it's not yours, bless the Lord and leave it. Amen? Amen. Okay, hallelujah. So we have our Minister Dawkins, he's going to come. Then we have Sister Carol Mahoney. And then Sister Alicia. And you're going to come in that order. Minister Dawkins is going to come. 20 minutes, not 20 minutes and 5 seconds, sir. 20 minutes. Amen. I'm going to sit right there. Sister Carl is 15. Sister Alicia, you're going to sing. Don't make it go over five minutes. You better start up right this up. And then after that, the Dr. Harris, you're 15 minutes, sir. Not 15 minutes and half a second. Praise the name of the Lord. So we come in that order. Amen. Amen. You've been praying for the His word brings, not bring assurance. His words bring Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. I only have 20 minutes, so I don't care my body. Praise God. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Um, I didn't know that I was going to share, but anyhow, I have something to share. Mm -hmm. Nobody tell me, but thank God for it. Sometimes, um, you always have something to say. Um, last week, I, I never never go to work on Wednesday because I was sick at home. Anyhow, Thursday I went to work and something happened. Um, I was broke. And while I was walking inside, I looked through the window and I saw $20. $20. So I opened the door and I took it out. And I said, I wonder who dropped this. Huh? But when I opened it up, it's not $20, it's $40. So I said, man, God is good. Then I remember that every Sunday morning, we repeat the saying, finding money. You know? I was sort of skeptical about the finding money part in that saying because, you know, if you saw somebody drop money and you take it up and you see you find it, that's stealing because you saw the person. But I never see nobody. <laughs> I never see nobody. And I took up the $40. And, you know, while I took up the $40, I said, you know what? I'm not going to spend it. I'm going to take it to church and I'm going to challenge God Amen. and sow it as an offering. Amen. Because anytime God gives you a blessing that out of the ordinary and you know it's God, turn it back to God. Amen. You know, 
I have a, a, a friend of mine. And she called me one morning. And she said, something strange happened to me. She never had the money. She went to her bed. And in the midnight, she feel, felt something in her clothes. And when she put her hand in there, there was some, some one dollar bill just full up like that. I think it was three. So she said she knew that she had three one dollars. She said she thought it, it was her son put it there. So she took it and put it in her bag. She went back to sleep. And she felt like something sticking her. When she looked, she saw three more one dollars fall up neatly. And she said, but I thought I put this money in my bag. So she was so sleepy, she just took up the money and put it in her bag. Then she sleep again. And she find, get up, she felt like something touching her. And when she looked, I said, three more, three dollars, fall up neatly. So the morning she get up, she asked her son, say, wait, wait, you, you didn't have money. She said, no. And her, she asked her son, what did he do with the, um, the three dollars? He said, I have the three dollars. She said she did not know where all of those money came from. She said, it must be the Lord. So when she called me and I tell me, I said, you know something? If you was broke and God miraculously put money in your bed, you know what I would do? I would give it back to God because God is no man's debtor. Because anything you sow to God, God is going to return it back to you a hundredfold. She did so. You know what? That week, she got a call from Jamaica. A friend of hers called her and said, go to Western Union. You know, people from Jamaica now send your money. They expect you to send your money. The person sent 500 US dollars. And for the rest of the week, she was so blessed. People just start to pour in blessing because she returned that which the Lord had blessed her with to the Lord. And, and you know, I, and I'm saying this because, you know, this is a, you know, we have just finished. Today is the end of the fasting and prayer. And many of us have been going through a lot of stuff. A lot of challenges and a lot of things throughout the week for, for, for the years. Some of us have been going through a lot of stuff. And you know, the early part of this year, um, I always say to myself and I say to my son, I always go to j join the gym because I want to look neat and not having this big tummy like I have. I used to look nice, you know. No, but I, I grow, I grow. So I said, I'm going to the gym. And you know, it had been going for a long while. Every time I said, I'm going to the gym, I'm going, yes, I'm going. I never go. I never went. And the early part of this year, God says, go forward. Whatsoever you have conceived in your mind to do, God is with you. Do not delay do not procrastinate. And God showed me something. That some of us have dreams. God had placed within us dreams and ability to do things. But because of the constant pressure of life. Bear down upon us. We have lost sight of the dreams and the vision that God has given to us. But God is saying go forward. You have been in that place long enough. And it, it, the, the Lord was showing me this, that sometimes people come to the house of God and they come depressed. 
because of the constant thing that they have been going through time and time again, years after years, and they seem to find no deliverance. And the only relief that they have is on a Sunday morning when they come and we sing the song and you feel relief, but you go back in the same situation and God says, you have been in this situation long enough. The time has come. Go forward because I am with you. I am with you. And when you begin to step, God is going to step with you. Amen. But rise up. Yeah. Get up. Amen. Take up your bed and walk. Amen. Because God is going to give you the victory. The things that you dream of. The dream that God had placed within you. God is saying. He had not finished with you yet. Amen. You might be in a pit. But rise up. Because God is ahead. Hallelujah. And you and God is not the minor, minority. Uh, you are the majority. And as long as God is with you, you're surely Amen. going to win. Let's go. Pastor said, Sister C, I want to talk to you. You know, Lord Jesus, I want to do my work. And when I came, after Minister Finisher came right there, and Pastor said, You're going to share. And I said, Jesus, God, <laughs> Pastor, the Lord tell you to make me share. He said, But did the Lord tell me not to make you share? And that gave me a whole different outlook with the sharing. Then minister call a meeting now and uh, there in the meeting and I have a little way to do my face and I drop it down like my grandmother that said thank you and a cool shady and I drop down my face. Minister said I don't want to your face. Your sister Lily know about the all the assembly thing. But I did you tell minister what was it drop down face for? But you know I just I'm just asking the Lord to just lead. Amen. This morning I was coming, I said, Lord, you said in your word, if I open my mouth, you will fill it with words. And I came and I sit beside Sister Audrey and Sister Claudia, and I said, who no sharing? They said, no. I said, Lord, me sharing, and I don't know what to do. Sister Audrey said, you will do it, man. I said, all right, because I asked the Lord already to fill my mouth. Amen. So, this morning, I am going to try and say something, but I want to read Psalms 23, and it reads us, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff may comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, he never said might. He said, surely Go ahead now. Go ahead now. goodness yes. and mercy yes. shall follow you yes. all, oh. not sometimes, Go ahead now, sis. all Amen. the days of my life. Yes. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord Amen. forever. Amen. Amen. God. And my few word is, but first I must grieve the Lord. That's right. To my Lord and Savior, 
and soon coming king to my pastor, Pastor Chambers, and his wife, Minister Yvonne Chambers, to Minister Dawkins, Evangelist Douglas, and my husband and friend, Dr. Mark Mahoney, and to Dr. Wilkes, members, visiting friends. But my few words will be taken from verse 6. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. When you get baptized, you know, you said a vow. A vow that you're not supposed to break. And this is what I think. And I will dwell in the house Amen. of the Lord Amen. forever. Amen. And I am thanking the Lord for that. Yes. You know, when I was in Jamaica, I, I hear people complain and say, Lord, things was bad. But I can't say that. I used to angle money. Because I, I have a friend and she introduced me to selling. And every, like every, every three times out and out of the, the, the month, I would go away and I buy and sell and come back and I, 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 I don't really like to go to the street side and say, mm -mm, I think that too local. Not saying it is, but for me, I thought it was too local. So I dress up nicely and I went to Lee's Fifth Avenue on Alfred Tree. And I present my, my goods and I present myself and I, I really know for play mind games still, you know. And I talk to the man and everything and laugh and go on and him say, all right, you think you can manage to provide. I'm just showing where goodness come in. Yeah, right we, and you can, pro, you can maintain the two stores because at least Fifth Avenue had a store on half a tree road and one in New Kingston. And I start going away and give it, selling them stuff and all of that. At 25, I bought a house. My God. And then I think I grew out of it. So I said, you know what? All of my friends are going to foreign. Me, I go foreign too. So I said, all right. And I came to foreign. But when I come here now, and for start go take care of old people and things, it never had a work of God, all it. Give me back, bad back. Couldn't manage the bad back. But goodness and mercy no, no. was still there. Ahead, no. And you know, sometimes when we are sinners, all when, when we drop in a certain thing, you're not the Lord, you know. We swear, say the Lord, I work out these things. Because I come down, I buck up my dance partner, and she said, come, come up at the store. And I go a Bronx now. If anybody know Bronx, Webster Avenue, drugs. And I went there and I start all at the ear. Where I never ever know if you do ear. I can't even cane row. And when I, I start do some ear and stuff, but that never did a work neither. All my eyes depend on the boy them outside where I sell the drugs. But grace and mercy was still there. Because the Lord had a plan yes. for Karat. And I, I, get in, I get in there and I start watch the thing. But all the liquor, nickel bag seller them. Never, never peak my interest. Never peak my interest. Every day I watch and I see a big man drive up outside. And I said to my friend, say, give me a target. And him come and when when Prissy drive in and all of that, and ask Brother Mark. You never ever know Brother Mark. Belly out the door. Me, I right now is a mampy. To all me, the little and neat and belly out the door. Man, time me I go to a store, go do ear. I don't look like me, I go for do ear. Me, I go for go use my head for the people them. Because that was my target. And when the man come and everything, a friend, a friend, see me a fish around and fish around. She said to me, said, you know, fame is a killer from jungle. Me say, I'm going to show you what me can do. And it, it went on and he can't come to my yard. He can't call me. But all he must do is forgive me money. I don't know why I do it. 
And I swear is the Lord. Because when we're doing these things, we think it's the Lord. But then, he, he, you know, in, in his word, he said, he'll never leave us nor forsake us. And I went on like that for a while. And one Christmas when we, 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 we hear and people just coming in and giving us gifts and all of that. And it seemed like this man himself, all right, him, we didn't know him like that. And he targeted us. And he went across the street and four o'clock in the morning when we finished with everything out, I have my money and she have our money and we have gifts and all of that. He just come and knock at the door and said, no one me care no one. We said, all right. And we jump in his car. And while we were in his car, and he driving, and we said, but you've gone the wrong way, man, because we are go up on the concourse. He said, no. I know that me I talk about. He said, I rob me and go rob you now. And if you don't make any noise, I kill me and go kill you. Goodness and mercy again was in play. Because he had a purpose for us. Amen. And he took out the gun and he put it between his legs. And we just hang up on the steering and just run out. And just run the car in the, the wall. And we got out and we ran. But the Lord had a plan. Because when you think he said, when you think it's peace and safety, it's sudden destruction. He said, he said, those I love, I chase it. Yes. I, I went up all in a Rikers Island because I fight. But the Lord had a plan. Yes. And that's my few words in Jesus' name. Yes. Praise the Lord. I want to give it up for Sister Carl. And that being for goodness and mercy. Yes. Praise God. The blood reaches everyone. Amen. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Sister Lisa. Praise God. Now you don't get 15 enough. Six. It increased to six. Let me worship the Lord. Let me worship the Lord. Hallelujah. God is worthy. Hallelujah. He said, from the rising of the sun to the going of same, his name is everlasting. Hallelujah. We lift up the holy name of Jesus. Hallelujah. How many of you want God to touch you this morning? Hallelujah. How many of you want it to touch you? Say, if you can reach out and touch the hem of his garment, you shall be made whole. Hallelujah. God is worthy. He's able to deliver you this morning. Hallelujah. We've gone through 21 days of fasting. And praise be to God. God shall get the victory this morning. Hallelujah. There is a breakthrough awaiting you this morning. Hallelujah. you got to reach out and touch him. Hallelujah. God is worthy. He's exceedingly and abundantly. Hallelujah. God is worthy, Jesus. God, we praise your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Shackled by an heavy burden. Need love and guilt and shame. Then the hand of Jesus touched me. And now I'm no longer the same. Can I do it one more time? I said, shackled by an
It's not fine. Can I say if God never saved like Brother Mark and Brother Mark and, and me? Yeah. You and your family couldn't be living so happy. Yeah. So now you don't get it enough. Look here, the devil don't look at your color, your class, or your creed, or your status. When they've got 19 youths, anybody. And one man can be a blessing in your community yeah. and one man can disturb your community yeah. that you don't think you can yeah. sleep at night. Yeah. So when you see God save certain people, yeah. like yeah. minister, before minister, yeah. sister Yvonne, yeah. you praise, Miss Yvonne, yeah. you praise God for me, yeah. that salvation reach me, yeah. so you can live a peaceable life. Yeah. Doctor, am I a talking Bible? Yeah. What the Bible says, when what? The righteous rule? So let us fully on. Give God thanks for them that they, they are saved. And look here, don't be selfish going to heaven with you and yourself and you. Pray for somebody, the Lord, deliver them. For had not been for salvation. Some people are all stush sinners, you know. But they're doing everything undercover, but they're just stushing, doing what they're doing. Sophisticated. Because the blood don't reach you. You're just like, just like any other man. Yes. But when the blood reach you, yes. and you're behaving like, then you have to question it. Because the blood of Jesus makes a difference. Yes. So we give God thanks for the blood. Amen? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Just pray for each other that we will so grow in God. That we reach a level of maturity. 
that we can handle each other, love Jesus and love the Lord and continue praying for each other. Because, let me tell you something. Sometimes, you might see something that disgusts you. And to other person, it doesn't mean anything. You get what I'm saying? But when you pray for that person that they will come to a level even where you are and beyond, then it will make a difference. Because I don't like rude people. I don't, you don't have to be rude as a Christian. I always say, you, those who know me from long time always know that minister say, I just don't like when you, I love you, but I don't, you don't have to be rude because the Holy Ghost teaches you. Now, this is what pastor and I have different. Pastor can tolerate everybody. Raise your hand, Brother Mark. <laughs> no, I don't have that long tolerance because if I teach you the thing twice, I think by the third time you should know. That's what, what we have different. If I teach you to say good morning when you're passing somebody or say hello or excuse me, if you pass them the third time, I look at you funny because you're not supposed to be rude as a Christian. A pastor will overlook it and give you a five more chance. No, I don't go near so. That's the difference with us. But you know, I'm thanking God that God, I'm coming from afar, you know. I'm really coming from afar. And you need to pray for me. You need, I, I, I have further to go. I love God and I love the people of God. And I want you to say, excel in God. Praise the name of, that is my desire for us. So we need to pray for each other. Maybe your weakness is not mine. But then you still have the Holy Ghost in you teaches you stuff. That you need to behave yourself. So people of God, we have a, we have a responsibility to pray for the saints. Don't go to heaven empty and then pray for your neighbor. Pray for your co-worker. Pray for your family. Pray for your children. Pray that salvation will reach them before it is too late. Dr. Wilson, are you ready, sir? You're an excellent. Come on, give it up for the Lord and give it up for the Lord. Respect each other. Can I say that again? Respect each other. Brother Joel, there is just six year old. Is he six? He deserves respect as much as. Pastor deserve respect. Amen. Love each other and respect each other. God bless you, sir. As you bless us. Stand up here, sister. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I greet the Lord who's my Savior. This next. I greet Pastor Delroy Chambers. Minister Evan Chambers, congregation, my family, I greet in the precious name of Jesus today. Let us pray. Most righteous and eternal loving Father. Heavenly Father, I ask you, dear God, to use me, dear Lord God. Heavenly Father, take away yourself in the mighty name of Jesus right now, Lord God. Increase in me, dear God, let me decrease in the precious name of Jesus right now. As I say, thanks. Amen. My chapter today will be taken from Revelation 3, from 1 to 2. And it said, And unto the angels of the church in Saudi, write these things, say, He who have the seven spirit of God and the seven star, I know your works, that you have a name that you live and are dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that you that are right, ready to die. Yes, For I have not found your works perfect, perfect before Amen. God. Yes. My theme is God is not pleased with your works. The Saudi church is referred to as the Reformation Church, which began about A.D. 15,000 and continue more or less unto this hour. Yes. The Holy Spirit in all his fullness and capacity 
refer to the pastor of these seven church. Our Lord being with words of ridicule, dead spiritual. This church is exalted to look into its real condition. God was begging this church to look into their real condition. They need to come back to the cross or amen. they will lose their way completely. Yes, amen. Things about Saudi, their works, have a name or a reputation of being a live church but are dead. Go ahead now, yeah. Three, works not perfect before God. Yeah. God has given Saudi a command, five command, be watchful, strengthen the things that remain, remember your teaching, hold fast, repent. In Hebrews 3, 6 tell us, but Christ as a son over his own, and over his own house, he said, whose house are we? Amen. If we hold fast, the confident and the rejoicing of this hope firm unto the end. Paul explained of what he mean of Christ's house, which he is building. We are the, that house. If we meet the condition, the only way we can be that house, if we meet the condition of God, of being a member of it, and if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. Pastor, what is this hope? The hope here is that of eternal life. Amen, amen. In Hebrews 2.2, 2, refer to the law which was given by angels and also to special message from angels as in the case of Lot's wife. In Genesis 19, 26, tells of Lot's wife. Lot's wife paid the ultimate price yes, of sir. disregarding the angelic warning. That's yes. right, that's right. Yes, that's Disobedient. Yes. Bring her to judgment, become yes. a pillar of salt. Oh my God, yes. my God. I know for a fact that we don't want to be coming to church right now and be disobedient unto God. My God. My God. Five, five things we must do to the end. Endure to the end by serving God. Yeah. Hold fast the hope of eternal life to the end. Yeah. Hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast yeah. to the end. Amen. Show the same diligent to the full assurance of hope to the end. Number five, overcome and keep Christ's word to the end. Amen. For this refer because there is danger of failing to hold fast. Other people is afraid of failing to hold fast for yes. God's word. Yes. All of eternal life unto the end. The Holy Ghost here won Christian, yes. not sinners, but Christian yes. to take heed. Yes. This is a warning to take heed. Seeing to it that they do not fail God yes. as many in Israel did and were cut off. Yes, yes. If we continue the way that some people are going, yes. God is going to cut you off. He gave us two more chances. Yes. Amen. So he's going to cut us off yes. like what he did Israel. Yes. 40 years in the wilderness, don't know where to go. Oh, we got to look into ourselves and yes. see really where we are going. Amen. Tonight, today, God is pleading. He's begging us. God said, please, you know, God is begging us to, with the lifestyle, he's not pleased. God said, I'm not pleased with your work. Your work is not perfect before me. We come here to church, we jump, we sing, we shout, but the way that we're living, God is not pleased. He said that he's not pleased with the friends that we keep. He's not pleased with the songs that we play in our cars, in our home. God is not pleased. He's warning us. God is warning us that we have to get ready. He said, your works is not perfect. So let us stop fooling ourselves. Stop fooling the pastor. Stop fooling your husband, your wife, your kids. Really search yourself. 
I see what God is telling each and every one of us today. The only way to enter into eternal life, we have to repent. Amen. Without repentance, we cannot see God. Amen. God is begging us today, let us hold fast by earnestly praying to him. Yes. Seek his way, not our way. Amen. Our attitude must be of God. Right. Our attitude also can bring people to God. Yeah. And also discourage people on, away yeah. from God. God. God has only one thing for us and for us to be saved. Our attitude has to be changed about our praise to God. Let us check ourselves. Be watchful. Strengthen each other. Encourage each other. And pray for each other. We call ourselves Christian of child of God. Let us show the love that God has shown us. Yeah. Stay in the word by day and by night. Like God has promised and we will endure. This is the only way we will enter eternal life. Seek him while he is near. Call upon him while he may be found. Draw nigh unto God and he will draw nigh unto you. Resist the devil. And he will flee. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on, give it up for the Lord. Praise God. That's a young man know how to use time wisely. Praise God. If you're in the battle for the Lord and right, come on, keep on. Two, one, two. If brother, you fight. Keep on the fire in line. There are many dangers that we all must win. If we die of fighting, there is no disgrace. Coward in his service, we will find our place. Keep on the fire in line. Two and two, you must fight. Be brave against all evil. Never run or ever not behind. If you wait for God on the right, keep on the fire in
I surrender all. Let me not to take it out of your hand. Let me not to take my life out of your hands. I surrender my all in your hands. Joy or hope, our lives in your hands. 